I want us really getting you excited about the opportunity we have as leaders right now, shaping in this theme of the fourth industrial revolution, uh, our society and our industries. This is what we think is actually a computer today. We call it HoloLens. It has the computing power, whatever you want to do and need to do. It gives you video, it gives you voice, it gives you listening. You could do emails with that one. You can do computing and calculation with that one. But that's only one for that. The real fun comes with that one. I had the opportunity, now it's almost two years ago, one and a half years ago, to witness President Xi actually doing exactly that. He had a HoloLens and he was sitting in our laps and he enjoyed taking a part of a motorbike and extending the design of the motorbike in an augmented virtual reality. So he was able to combine a piece of hardware and get a virtual reality extended by designing the color of the mirror which we teach him how to do. Now, it shows it is real, and it shows it can be done by everyone. And it shows it can be done in every place. So you, what you see here is an example of engineering capacity on a, on a piece of technology. And this is done on a table. But you should feel and you should see this one as being possible at home at your dining table. And that is how we change right now with technology the capability, and we create ideas and vision what is possible. With all this, I think this is why 15 months ago, Klaus Schwab, founder of the World Economic Forum in Davos, he framed the time of being in the fourth industrial revolution. And he framed it in the context of the impact we see mainly driven by the capability of digital technology, of digital transformation. So now the question is, in this fourth industrial revolution, as digital being the key driver, why is that? What is the key driver? And we believe there are three key drivers which are right now making a difference why we are in the face of this fourth industrial revolution. Let me talk about these three in brief ways. First, data. We produce in 2020 50 setabyte of data, which is 20,000 times more than what we did a decade ago. The second one is this context of cloud. And we're all using it, and we're all kind of having the discussions with clients, with private people on what it actually means. So with the basic presumption on two things on cloud, the first is it's a secure environment, second, it's an available environment. The most important thing is to me the following. Cloud is democratizing, democratizing IT. And the third one is analytics. And I just shared on, on the table some experience we have. The analytics is all about getting smart and get compute power to help you predict and understand businesses. I give you a bit more detail on how we look at the digital transformation with customers' engagements and what is actually the feedback we're getting from the field. We believe digital transformation is uh, structured in four areas. We see it with customer engagements. We see it with employee engagements. We see it on improvements on the operation. And we see it on the improvement on how people actually think developing products. Now, that, again, is all on the basis of having a secure environment and secure setup done. This one from Tasmania is actually bringing a bit of life to, to, the, the, to the sometimes uh, dry boringness of IT. So here we talk about oysters. And they lose 25 million in the cycle of production because they have unexpected rain, they have bad weather conditions, a storm is coming up, they can't shut down the, the production farms, they can't take out the oysters. So then there was a company, the Yield, which we got to know, which went to engage with these farmers and basically started to connect information. So they, they looked at weather forecasts, they looked at the water quality of the ocean, they looked at the farming behavior, they looked at the size of the oyster and all kind of stuff. 
and they made these farmers a full digital run company. But the net out of that one is they figured out and make now uh, a 30% higher yield and have saved roughly 7 million just by getting data to help them understand how to farm oysters better. We have um, just recently conducted a study, and I want to give you a short glimpse. We have roughly interviewed 1,500 uh, business decision makers in 13 different countries in Asia and asked them what I think about digital transformation and where they are. And the outcome uh, on a high level says 80% of all of them have an agenda on what to do on digital transformation. Almost the same amount think the biggest driver for their point of digital transformation is in the context of data and analytics. The other uh, result we have is in the context of these four outcomes, the primary one was uh, focusing on customer engagement. Now, I need to say that I was expecting the primary one is around product. <laughs> I was expecting that people think hard about which products they can develop and bring in front of customers, that, but that may be me, an engineer, getting it wrong. And we are looking at this data right now, but I felt it very interesting to see where the mind of, of our customers, where the mind of our partners is right now, and how people really live in the reality of this fourth industrial revolution using digital. This um, is what I got to know, I think, is the best quality taxi experience I personally had worldwide ever. I came to Singapore six months ago. Um, I figured out how to find out the right applications and all what it is. But it turns out you have a transportation system here in Singapore which has um, a great service. I would say the highest uh, responsiveness. There have been uh, very structured investments in type of fleet, GPS systems, onboard communication systems, beautiful, fantastic investment. Now look, the problem is this. They have nothing of that. They have zero and one. They have algorithm. They have built an application Within four years, they put a full industry which was best of breed on the spot under pressure. This is what digital transformation is about. and This is what the fourth industrial revolution is about. Closing out, I thought I want to leave you with these three. The question is, do you have a digital transformation again agenda on a board? So are you steering your responsibility and your company being part of this fourth industrial revolution? The second one is, do you establish a data-driven culture? Do you have even a dedicated investment on that data-driven culture? Because that is part of this digital transformation and fourth industrial revolution. And the last one I picked, because I would say that is very um, Asian-specific to my experience over the last years, what is the thinking and plan we have to integrate millenniums in our businesses because they want to be integrated different than what my experience and learning was how I operate in a business. With that, I really appreciate that I had the opportunity to be here. Um, thank you very much for your time, and I hope to talk and have an engagement soon. Thank you very much.